All right, so this is my Herodry Turbo, Herodic Lease Turbo Deck number 2.0. Not much has changed in this um, deck, other than the fact that I changed the extra deck. So we still have three amps, three Leos, three Ellie, three Unicorn, three Falcon. You have synergy with Amp and Leo. That way you could pitch Leo for Amp's effect to special summon itself. Use Leo's effect to add, I like to add Unicorn to the hand, summon it, XYZ summon, and to any of the rank fours. Good ones to rank into will be <coughs> number eight, Genome. We can go into uh, number 18, Plain Coat. But, you know, Genome has the most attack. If it gets destroyed, you can use Unicorn's effect to bring it right back. And, of course, in the rank up version of this deck, you can rank, play rank up magic and rank up. So, that's, they got good synergy right there. If you have two or more Heretic Beast Monsters on your side field, you can Special Summon Ellie, so that allows you to go into rank 4, so require 3. Falcon has only one good synergy, and that's with Mind Control, because you, you can take your opponent's monster, summon Falcon, and turn his your opponent's low 5 or higher monster into low 4, and XYZ summon. So that's very useful. Of course, heraldry augmentation. You can pitch Leo for the field spells effect and get both Leo's effect and the field spells effect to add, you know, heraldry reborn, add with uh, Leo's effect, add unicorn. Then you could play reborn to bring back Leo. Normal summon unicorn and XYZ into whatever you need. You also have advanced heraldry art, which is a one card XYZ. You can XYZ summon into anything you want. Terraforming, so we can get the field spell, because he's going to be your bread and butter, I guess. Beto, MST, Regeki Break, Red Screen, you know what to do with that. All right. Since there are three wind type monsters, I mean four, my bad, four, because Amp and Falcon are wind, you can create Lightning Shidori if you ever need that effect. Maya Stroke, Dijin, Diamond Dire Wolf, most of these monsters are beast, wing beasts. As you can see, a lot of beast, except for this dragon. But other than that, you can use them to uh, you know to activate Dynamite and Night Wars effect and destroy whatever you need to destroy. Black Ship of Corn, useful against whatever you need to. Sometimes you might just summon a whole bunch of the Heraldry Beasts, Heraldic Beasts, attack, deal some damage. <coughs> uh, say something happens and they summon a monster, they special summon a monster afterwards. Google main phase 2 overlay, make black ship a coin, detach, send its monster graveyard, deal the final the final blow if you want. Most people like to use a uh, Kagaga Magician to each their own. I like black ship a coin because it's useful against uh, monsters that can't die by battle, obviously. It's Ton Knight, ironically, I actually I just finished a duel and I took a screenshot of it. I'll make a video about that later and it was interesting I was like hmm let's see let me make him once see what happens I summon him I <laughs> said I activate his effect and my opponent was like oh no negation effect like he had no negation and he was like GG no negation misspelled ne no negation but I understood he said GG no negation obviously he had nothing and I had a heraldic I have advanced energy art in my hand. 
along with a Hero Dream Reborn. And obviously, I was just going to reborn the two materials I used to make uh, Exiton. Oh, no, no, because I only detached one material for his effect. So I actually would have used my Heroji Reborn and brought back one of my materials. Because if I'm right, I had a amp on the field and I had an Ellie, so I would have detached amp and brought it back. I would have 1900 and a 1700 on the field, and my opponent would have only had one card in his hand. I still would have had one card left in my hand, which would have been Heroji Art because I had a red screen face up and a red screen face down and they would have been destroyed. Um, or does this one is from my opponent's card? I think that's... Okay, don't you... Your opponent has a feeling you can take from the chair and destroy all other cards on the field. Also, your opponent takes no further damage. Alright, so I want to dealt no damage. Again, I don't use this card as much. I mean, that was actually the first time I summoned it. But at the point of um, negging him, all of that back row and those three monsters he had to the point where he only had one card in his hand while I have the advantage of still having extra ton knights and two cards left in my hand. Obviously I won just because I had the hand advantage. So that was, uh, that was interesting. It's like, oh cool. He's broken. He'll get banned, hopefully. Fairy King Alby, Albert, because I have Leo Drake and Eli so I can make him if I ever need his effect because I have unicorns I use the unicorns to create Tsukuyumi just so I can use them as a pot of greed basically number 18 coat number 8 genome just because they're psychics number 69 crest um, obviously they work good with the field spell, the field spell makes it where they can't be targeted so they're worth summoning and they have decent effects against other XYZ monsters he was one of Arboros because he has a really good effect, he's 2750 number 104 Masquerade a 2700 and he has a really good uh, pretty decent effect and you know milling a card from the, off the top of your opponent's deck is useful because it could prevent him from doing certain stuff, especially if you put something on top of his deck deliberately. You can, you can, you know, offset that. Comes in handy against Sylvans because you know they tend to man manipulate the top cards of their deck, so that way they can excavate them and get their effects. You could just mill it, and they won't get the effects. And just because number one one is broken, and this deck can make him instantly and quickly. There's three of them, so you can whore the shit out of it. And that is the end of the Heroji Beast.